Welcome to Paddlecraft Safety. One of the goals of this program is for you to develop basic kayaking skills for calm water. Your instructor will help you learn how to move the kayak where you want it to go. Forwards, backwards, sideways, and turning. We'll cover the types of kayaks you might use, tips for getting started, the basic strokes and what they are used for, and how to respond to a capsize. Kayaks come in many shapes and sizes, each designed for different uses. Some are for general recreational use. Some are for running rivers. And some are for touring on lakes and the ocean. We'll highlight a few broad distinctions and your instructor will fill in the characteristics of the boat you will use for the course. General purpose kayaks often have a spacious cockpit opening in the deck. That makes them easy to get into and out of. Cockpit openings are smaller and come with spray skirts when taking on water is a concern, such as in waves or rapids. Other kayaks, appropriately called sit-on-tops, have a depression rather than an opening in the deck. They are great for warm water activities when you don't mind getting a bit wet. Some kayaks are designed for tandem paddlers, and those may also be used in the paddlecraft safety course. Since strokes are similar for both solo and tandem boats, this overview will use solo examples. Your instructor will help you choose an appropriate paddle length for your size and the type of boat you will be using. A couple of simple exercises with the paddle are useful before you get in the boat for the first time. Begin by rotating your shoulders relative to your hips as you hold the paddle. First, point one blade forward and then the other. This exercise helps you derive the power for your strokes from torso rotation. Your hands should be a little more than shoulder width apart. Many kayak paddles have the blades offset slightly from one another. That automatically feathers the blade to the wind on recovery, but means you will need to rotate the shaft as you use first one blade and then the other. Your initial grasp should have the knuckles of your right hand in line with the blade. Practice rotating the blades using your right hand while letting the shaft slip in your left hand. Next, you are ready to board your boat. Turn the boat parallel to shore. Lay the paddle crossways just behind the cockpit to serve as a brace if necessary. Carefully sit on the back rim of the cockpit and then slide your legs forward. Stretching a spray skirt around the cockpit combing can be a bit tricky. Hook the skirt first in back and then stretch it along the sides using your elbows as well as your hands to guide it into place. Hook the front and then adjust the sides. Spray skirts are not required for paddlecraft safety instruction. Helmets are required for whitewater, but not for the calm water environments appropriate for paddlecraft safety instruction. Once you are floating free, get a feel for boat balance before you try the strokes. You will use your hips as well as your paddle to guide the kayak. If you are using a spray skirt, your instructor might introduce a wet exit at this stage so you don't worry about getting free if the boat turns over. To go forward, rotate your torso to plant one blade in the water toward your toes. Pull the kayak forward as you unwind. As your hips pass the blade, lift it from the water, extend the other blade forward, and repeat on the other side. Keep the power blade close to the kayak. That means your upper hand will be near eye level. Use torso rotation to power your strokes, not your arms as shown here. Going in a straight line may be a bit tricky at first, but should come naturally as you develop boat sense from practice. Kayak designs balance tracking ability with turning ability. In shorter boats, it may be difficult to keep the bow from wobbling. To turn on purpose, use a sweep. Sweep the blade in a low arc from bow to stern. Both hands remain below shoulder level. To pivot the kayak, follow a forward sweep on one side with a reverse sweep on the other. If your blades are spoon-shaped, 
you will use the back of the blade rather than trying to fully rotate the shaft. To move sideways, use a draw. Reach out perpendicular to the kayak on the side you want to move toward. Plant the blade and pull the kayak to it. Recover by slipping the blade sideways back into position. To go backwards, reverse the forward stroke. Kayaks aren't that unstable, but capsize is still a possibility. You should remember the importance of proper fit for a life jacket from safety afloat training. Make sure yours and your buddies are the correct size and properly adjusted before you go on the water. A life jacket that rides near or above ear level is not as effective as it should be. The first concern after a capsize is with the safety of the person in the water. The buddy boat should close the gap quickly. Exposure to cold water is a common concern on flat water. If the person is in trouble, the buddy boat should quickly tow the person to safety. If the swamped person is in good shape, he or she may swim the boat to shore or hitch a tow from the buddy boat. The buddy boat may also do a tea rescue to drain water from the swamped kayak. The person in the water may help steady the swamped kayak. The rescuer turns the swamped kayak upside down and pulls it across the deck of the rescue boat. Water drains from the cockpit during the procedure. The kayak is then turned upright and slipped back into the water. The person may reboard from the side or from between the boats. That completes the overview of basic kayaking skills. Go slowly when you first try these on the water. Kayak sense and mastery will come with practice. Be patient and happy paddling. <laughs>